Solar Bright Green Greg here. So today we're doing a nice site survey. The customer is interested in a solar pool heater. And we're checking to see if this rooftop in the back has enough sun. What trees need to be trimmed, if any. So you will notice there's a big tree over here that's overhanging the back roof. And there's a tree right there. So we're going to take a look around and see what we got to work with. And you'll notice, first of all, it is screen. Screening takes about five degrees off the pool temperature, but notice how there's all this debris up here. That's also going to make the pool shaded and make it cooler. Um, and of course, you really don't want that stuff on top of your pool cage for other reasons. Um, could cause the screen to eventually rip. You know, critters and mosquitoes get stuck in those uh, pine needles, etc. So it's a good idea to clean that uh, pool screen. Okay, so we're up on the rooftop now. And you'll notice this is the first tree. See how tall that is versus the rooftop? And by the way, this back roof is an east-facing roof. This pool area is gonna get more shaded during the afternoon. It probably has more sun during the morning hours, but um, preferably it'd be nice just to get this tree removed. It is a pine tree, so I don't believe it's protected here in Florida, so it can be removed. That would be the desirable thing. The other thing is just even for hurricane purposes to not have a tree this close to the house that's that tall that could fall on the rooftop and cause a lot of damage and I've seen that happen before. So uh, that's number one. Okay and then you'll notice here we have a chimney. You see how that's casting a shadow? So we don't want to put any solar panels below this chimney preferably. A few uh, vents to work with. That's okay, we can work on those. We can work around those. Um, let's look at that other tree. So you'll see that this tree here is also pretty tall. Um, as long as we're not using the edge of the roof, it probably doesn't need to be removed. But again, it is pretty tall. It is a pine, so it grows pretty quick. Um, preferably it would be to top off this tree and trim some branches on it and you'll see our pool down there normally this house mainly has an east and west that's all we have to work with which is fine and normally we would prefer to use a south a south facing roof second would be a west roof and then an east roof a west roof for solar pool heating uh, west gets the afternoon sun so for solar pool heating that would be best it gets the most heat however this west facing roof um, it is the front of the house, but also it's very chopped up. See how they those intersecting roof lines? And the solar pool heating panels are four feet wide, and then from top to bottom they come in lengths of 12 feet, 10 feet, or 8 feet. So because of all these intersecting roof lines, I would not be able to get a bunch of rectangle panels on that roof. It would not work really well. It'd be better to have a very simple roof like this back roof. See how that's just very simple. There's no intersecting roof lines. The simpler the rooftop, the better. The more we can get these big square panels on. So, yeah, I'm just going to recommend the customer, uh, if possible, take out that big tree, the big pine tree, and then the other tree, this tree here, maybe just trim some branches. But otherwise, we have a bunch of room over here to put a bunch of panels. Uh, probably, I'd have to measure it up, but probably can fit roughly about 12 solar pool heating panels on this rooftop. Something like that, roughly. Depending on how much space we need for events and the chimney. Uh, but this home is a good candidate for solar. Even for solar PV, solar, home solar, it'd be a great candidate for solar. It's just a matter of... Uh, be able to free up the shaded areas. And so now, as you can see, the customer has taken out the tree over there. As you can see, I've got my solar panels lined up here. By the way, we have eight solar panels. We use a flat mat type panel. Here's where the tree was at. Okay. So this is what that tree removed. So you could tell, even though it's late in the day, it's actually six o'clock right now, um, late April. But you can see we now have great sun on this rooftop and it's ready for solar. You could also tell the far tree on the other side of the house has been trimmed back. So um, 
this rooftop is now prime for solar so you can remove trees to open up the rooftop and also notice that um, the pool will have less shade on as well i'll do another video after the solar has been installed okay so here is that tree that was shading the roof before it's been trimmed and you'll notice the solar panels are in full and complete sun even the bottom of the solar panels now here's the other side of the roof and we had that big pine tree in the back that is gone and again these solar panels are in full sun and also there's no longer any pine needles on top of the pool cage so now this solar pool heater can heat the pool and my customer gets about 86 degrees on a spring day which means her and her family can enjoy their pool even more isn't that what it's all about okay so i hope you found this helpful solar by green greg so on this channel we cover solar pv also known as home solar that generates electricity solar pool heating to heat your pool energy efficiency and i give you insider information that nobody else will and also we do a little bit of light troubleshooting simple things that homeowner can do to help save them on a service call or answer some questions okay and i've been doing this since 2007 but i'm a homeowner just like you so i know what it's like you're trying to do a home improvement whether it be solar or anything else and it just seems like everybody's just trying to sell you something or say what feels good rather than really tell you the truth and sometimes the truth needs to be told whether a house is good for solar or not good for solar for instance so if that's you just looking for straight up information then you're in the right spot go ahead hit that subscribe hit that thumbs up and hit that notification bell so i can bring you this great information thank you so much and have a great sunny day bye bye